Today I picked up the ice tower cooling fan from S2Pi. Take a look at it here, get it out of the box. Got some instructions. Pretty basic. Looks like we have the mounting brackets. Pretty cool. Go ahead and get the fan itself out. Well wrapped, like that. Pretty nice, heavy duty. It has the LED fan on top there. Copper tubes running down to the heat sink. Very nice. The build quality is solid. Really like that. Very nice. We'll set that out of the way. We have our hardware here and sticky patches. We've got an acrylic board, which I will not be using in this project. Set that aside. And we also have a secondary fan, just in case you don't like the LED one. So that's cool. They give you that. Nothing else in here except for the tiny screwdriver that we'll use to put it together. So I have everything laid out here so you can take a better look at it. The main fan unit. And again, it's got the little clips on the fan so that you can swap this out the black fan here if you don't like the LEDs and either way you've got a nice secondary fan so again for 22 bucks you really can't beat this this is a really nice uh, cooling system especially if you plan on overclocking your Raspberry Pi 4 and that is my intention so that's what I'm going to use it for very basic setup here we have the fan. Please notice which direction the copper tubing is facing as we do this because both of these brackets are distinctly individual. See here, we're taking the curved one. We're going to put it here. Take one of those tiny screws. Get that lined up. And again, watch how that bracket's facing. Get that all tightened down. Take the second bracket. Slightly different design. Put it on this side. Again, one of those little tiny screws. And we'll get that all tightened down. There we go. Both of the mounting brackets are in place. Couldn't be any simpler than that. So as I already said, I'm not going to be mounting this to the acrylic board that it came with. I'm going to be using the enclosed screws to run them up through the bottom of the board. That way, It'll give me enough clearance so that I'll be able to stick this back into my original canna case. And then I will use these little leg extenders here. Ones that look like they're brass. And we'll kind of run those the opposite direction. If that makes any sense. And again, I'm using this modified setup so that I can put this back in the canna case that this original project board came with. So as you can see, I ran all of those screws in from the bottom and then put the little post copper pieces on the top and it snaps perfectly back into place into the baseboard of the canna case there. Very nice. Nice fit doing it this way and I get to use a case that I already had. So next we'll go ahead and mount the fan. So let's get that done. Before mounting the fan, we take our square of sticky tape and put it right here on the processor. So I'll try to do that as carefully as I can, keeping everything straight. There we go. That's in place. That's the only piece of that we're going to need. We can now take our fan, line it up over top of our screw post there and it'll slip right into place. There we go. Good and solid. Now what I'm gonna do is give you a close up so you can see how that sits on there. And I'm gonna take these small little nuts here and put those on the top of each one of these screw posts. With all of those on, 
What I'm going to do next is take each one of these extra brass posts and screw those on on top of the nuts. And with all that done, here's a close up. Kind of see how I designed that. Last thing we need to do is attach our fan to the power. So that's red wire to the second pin on the outside. Snug that down. Give you a little bit of a close up there. And then the black wire will go to ground, which is the next pin right there. And here's a close up. So you can see exactly which pins I used. And essentially that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and take the top of the case and slip this on. And you'll be able to see here, everything fits very well. All of our ports still open, firm fitting. So basically I got to use the entire original case and I just kind of turned it into a convertible. Here I'll let it cycle through some of the different colors of the LEDs. And then I'll shut up so you can actually hear how loud this thing runs. So that should give you some idea. Putting a cooling tower like this on your Raspberry Pi 4 is very important, especially like I said, if you're going to overclock it for running uh, game emulators or something like that. So, hopefully this video helped you out. If this video did help you out, hey, subscribe, like, comment. There's a spot for all that stuff below. If this video did not help you out, like, subscribe, comment. There's a place for all that stuff below. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.